For numbers 20 to 23, we're starting with the parent graph y equals x squared, which is a graph of a parabola, these red graphs. They are the graphs of y equals x squared. And we are shifting it horizontally h units. So in this case, since it's minus h, it's h units to the right. So the axis of symmetry will be at x equals h, and the vertex is at h comma 0. Now let's take a look at number 20. So here the vertex is at 0, 0, just like the parent graph, because h is 0. And the 2, if you just look at the absolute value of this number, this is our constant, in this case a, that's multiplied by the function. Look at the absolute value of a, so just positive 2. Since this is greater than 1, this is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. And this negative means it's a reflection on the x-axis. So you take a couple of points. Well, we know 0, 0 is our vertex. So you take a couple of points, say for example 1 comma 1, and you're going to double the y value of that, so it will be 1 comma 2, but because of this negative, it will be reflected on the x-axis, so instead of the point being at 1 comma 2, it's going to be at 1 negative 2. Or let's take 2 comma 4, you're going to double the y value, so it will be 2 comma 8, but instead of it being on 8, we're going to reflect it, and it will be on negative 8. So 2 comma negative 8. We're also going to use the symmetry aspect of it. We know we have another point reflected on the y-axis, and another point over, let me make this line a little bit more straight, over here at 2, negative 8. So this is what the graph will look like. It's a thinner version of the red graph, so we call that vertically stretched, and it's reflected on the x-axis. Now let's take a look at number 21. Once again, our vertex is at 0, 0 because there's no h, and we will study later that there's also no k. We'll see that later. So starting with the vertex, since 1 fourth, the absolute value of it is less than 1, this is our a, this is a vertical shrink by 1 fourth. So you take a given point, say 1 comma 1, you take that y value, and you're going to divide it by 4. So we'll now have a point 1 comma 1 fourth. Or let's take the point 2 comma 4, take the y value, and divide it by 4, or multiply it by 1 fourth. That's the same thing. So it'll be 2 comma 1. Let's take another point, <clears throat> say for example 3, 9, because 3 squared is 9. So divide 9 by 4, so that's 2 and something. So when x is 3, y is 2 and something, something like this. So then we'll have the symmetry on the y-axis. So we'll have a graph that looks something like this make it look new shaped remember we're just sketching so this is not exactly what the graph looks like we're just sketching it so that looks good enough so we call this the graph of y equals x squared except vertically shrunk by a factor of a fourth so it's like you took it and you shrunk it down, you squished it down. Whereas this one, you took it and you pulled it up, you vertically stretched it. Let's look at number 22.
here h is negative 1. In other words, the axis of symmetry is at negative 1. And x equals negative 1. That's our h. Because x minus negative 1 is x plus 1. So this means horizontal shift to the left, 1. And the 2, just like in problem number 20, the absolute value of our A, since it's greater than 1, this is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. And this is reflected on the x-axis. So this graph, in fact, looks extremely similar to the graph that we had in number 20, except it's moved to the left 1. So you go to the left 1, and you basically graph the graph that we had in number 20. So in other words, we go if you remember here, we had a point 1 comma 1 to the right, 2 down. Then we had another point 2 to the right and 8 down. We're going to do that here. We're going to go 1 to the right and 2 down. Or 2 to the right and 8 down. Let me move this stuff down. So something like this. Now let's put axis. Let's take advantage of our axis of symmetry. So this is at negative 8. Once again, remember we're just sketching these graphs. So it's just a rough estimate. Make it U-like. An upside down U in this case. Okay. These graphs don't have to be perfect, just um, we need a couple of points and the shape that we're interested in. Okay, let's take a look at number 23. Here, h is positive 2, because remember, this is x minus h. So the h is what follows the negative sign. So this is our axis of symmetry is x equals 2 in this case, and we have a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. So the vertex is at 2 comma 0, and instead of having 1 comma 1, we're going to have 1 comma 3. So you go 1 to the right, and you go 3 up. Instead of 2, 4, you go 2 to the right, and this time it's going to be 12. The 4 will be multiplied by 3. So you go 2 to the right, and you go 12 up. Something like that. So this is going to be stretched a lot. Okay, so remember once again, we're just sketching. So this is at 12, the y value. Okay, and then use the symmetry and put another point here. That would be, actually we have to go two to the left, so that would be right, right here. Also, instead of this one, okay. So there's our graph. 